Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. This is Katie, and if you're new here, hi, welcome. And if you're back, welcome back. I'm glad you're here too. Um, today, we are going to be doing an unboxing together from a company that I have unboxed once before on my channel. They're a brand new diamond painting company, and um, <laughs> I will link to the unboxing that I've done from them before up here in the eye, as well as down in the description so you can go and check it out. But needless to say, I was so blown away by my first experience with them that as soon as I saw that they had added new artwork to their shop, which is on Etsy, um, I immediately went to go and check it out. And this one spoke to me right away so i am really excited to share it with you guys and hoping that it's a similarly wonderful experience so the name of this company is true artist diamond painting like i said they're a brand new diamond painting shop that is licensing their artwork from artists and trying to find new artists in the community as well um so hopefully there's going to be some more info in here like there was in my first kit from them that'll tell us a little bit more about the company and their mission and i'll be sure to share that with you guys so we get into it so look at how cute this came in this like trifold like pyramid style uh, <laughs> uh box for shipping it shipped out super quickly which i appreciate and look at this pink confetti like oh my gosh super super fun so they included a card that's addressed to me for katie let's take a quick look at this first isn't that kind of the rule of of gifts and things is you always open the card first so here is their branding this is true artist diamond painting appreciation of artists matters of course cute okay sneak peek <laughs> the piece that we'll be working on so some sticker goodies, of course, love that. Add that to my sticker collection. And in this card, we have some info about the company itself. Thank you for purchasing a true artist diamond painting committed to bringing you unique diamond painting kits that feature exclusively licensed art, ensuring that our artists are paid for their work. We hope that with every jewel you place, you find joy and fulfillment along with peace of mind, that you are also supporting the artists who are proud to share their work with you love that so much so i also really enjoyed they did this with the first kit i unboxed from them they have an insert that's about the artist that this is licensed from and i love that i love getting to learn a little bit more about the artist behind the artwork that we get to work on so that's that let's take a look at what else is in here candy okay <laughs> not gonna complain about that more goodies okay i guess i'm snacking tonight <laughs> and then ooh, self-care okay i think i will <laughs> probably pop this on tonight after i'm done filming they included a lot of really similar goodies with my first kit which i really appreciated so let me make sure i'm not missing anything oh i am more starburst i guess i will share <laughs> i will guess i will share with my husband and then in here all the extra gift goodies are a really fun touch and just make this a super special experience. I love it. Is this cute? Oh, yay. So we have this adorable washi. I wonder if this will match the kit. And then this is really fun. So I know this is from, yeah, it is. It's from Daiso. I actually have this exact roller. So look out for this to be in one of my giveaways. <laughs> Um, and if you're wondering what a roller is for, um, it's really helpful to run it over your kit and any diamonds that might be sticking up from the canvas a little bit that maybe you didn't get pressed down flat or that have just kind of popped up a little bit. If you run the roller over it, it'll help it lay super flat and neat. So let's get into the kit itself. So it's wrapped with the branding again. Lots of tissue paper and pretty packaging. <laughs> so let me shift that over there. And even though it wasn't shipped in sort of a traditional diamond painting box, I appreciate that they packaged it with such care in this like triangle priority mail mailer. Small mailing tube is what it says on there. So um, that seemed to protect my last canvas. And it looks like this hasn't seen any damage either. So that works. <laughs> let me grab my scissors. 
Now this is much more of a snack size kit, which is right up my alley right now um, because I have a lot of really large kits in my stash and I'm just itching to not add a lot more large, <laughs> a lot more in the way of large kits. So um, again, this is the same canvas material that I remember seeing on my last one where it's almost like a fabric texture. It's not, it's not like a, uh, any other company I've really seen before, but it's like, it's not super thin, but it's not plush, but it looks like a high quality. It's got those surged edges as well. So let's get into this cutie. Oh, look how cute. Oh, I love that. Okay. Let me roll this the opposite way to help it lay a little bit flat while we take a look at all the other goodies. Now this is a poured glue canvas, which you can tell because of the clear plastic cover. Uh, so that means that rolling it back like this is safe to do. You're not going to damage the glue. If you happen to have a canvas that is double-sided adhesive, I do not recommend <laughs> rolling it backwards like that because uh, you can damage the glue that way. So that really still does not quite want to lay flat. So I'm going to do my other <laughs> go-to uh, for helping a canvas lay flat, which is to pull back the plastic cover just halfway and then gently roll it back over. And that will kind of help that lay flat. So any of those creases that you see on here, those are not creases in the canvas itself. That's just where the cover shifted over the glue while it was, you know, kind of rolled and folded the way that it was for shipping. So I'm gonna pull it back halfway the other way. And again, just kind of slowly roll it back down. And that's gonna help it lay flatter and take care of those things that look like wrinkles, but are not. So look how cute this is. It's a fox and I just, love foxes so i really wanted to get my hands on this one right away uh, if you look at the top we've got their branding again true artist diamond painting appreciation of artists matters uh, we have a schematic over here on the side with the model number which you'll be able to match with the model number that's on the bag of drills the size is 40 by 40 we'll measure it to make sure it's true to size this has 30 colors which is kind of a lot for a canvas this size it looks like it's going to be pretty confetti heavy in here but We'll see how it turns out. I really want to get to this one super soon because it's so cute and it's a 40 by 40. It should work up quickly. We have another legend on the bottom left and we have, of course, the branding at the bottom. And this is giving me a little bit of deja vu from another company that sells diamond painting kits on Etsy. But um, yeah, and there's all the other info about the canvas. That did not want to lay flat. Okay, let's measure it. I have all the goodies like piled over here and just completely lost my measuring tape. So we should be 40 by 40. Um, and I'm gonna measure just the drill field and that is just a tick shy of 40 wide. I get this to go flat, the exact same thing tall. So it's true to size, usually give them a little bit of leeway. <laughs> now let's take a look at the canvas. This looks just a little bit more saturated than the other kit that I've unboxed from them. Um, but taking a look at the symbols, nothing is, nothing's illegible and nothing is um, at the moment looking too similar to any other symbols. So I don't think I'm going to get any of them mixed up. I think it's just really confetti heavy. <laughs> uh, what you see on here, those aren't really I don't feel like they're truly guide circles because I don't know they're kind of guide circles but not like the dark black ones like these circles are the same color as the drills you're going to be putting down so they they really shouldn't show up like those you know black dark circle marks really shouldn't show up once you actually get drills down the toolkit that comes with this is a basic one you've got let me show you guys it's a new company I'll go ahead and bust into it <laughs> So it's uh, basic, just blue pen, pink wax, white boat. Honestly, this is such a beginner friendly piece that I am totally okay that they include a really beginner friendly toolkit. This is everything you need to work on a diamond painting. It might be nice if they included, oh, well, <laughs> I spoke too soon. So I started to say, oh, it'd be nice if they would have included some extra baggies, but these come pre-bagged. So 
that's not gonna be a problem. <laughs> Let's flip this over and take a quick look at our drills. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned, this is a round drill kit. The company, I do believe, has square drill kits now as well. Both of the kits that I have from them, this one and the Dragon, they are both round drill kits. I would be curious to try one of their squares to see what the quality is like, but let's get into it. I do see some drills that look like maybe a bag came open. We will take a careful, oh nope, nope, that's just the placement. So I am gonna go ahead and take all of these out to show you guys, even though they're so neatly packed in here. I'm still gonna pull them out to show you guys. So it looks like they do have the DMC number on them. And look at those colors, that mustard and that burgundy. Love that. I am getting just, I'm getting a tiny odor from these drills, but it's the kind of thing I feel like I've occasionally smell with drills. It'll be fine. I'll layer off. I'm going to take a little bit of a look at the dark drills in particular, just to make sure that we don't have any excessive trash, since that seems to be an issue with some diamond painting companies lately. All those colors. This is going to be so vibrant. Now, I'm pretty sure that they actually have a few different pieces from this artist. Um, be sure to check back in their shop more than once. Even hit the heart to favorite it because um, even if uh, an item is showing is out of stock, I feel like they have been restocking as they go. So definitely keep an eye on it because even if a kit that you wanna try is out of stock, my guess is that they'll restock it. I also, at least at the time of this filming, the last time that I checked their shop announcements, it did say something about how they were anticipating like 15 new pieces coming in in the coming weeks. So I will absolutely be keeping a close eye on there because yeah, if I see another piece that speaks to me like this one did and like the dragon did, I will be jumping on it because I am really, really thrilled with the quality and with the experience that I've had with this company so far. So all of these drills and these drill colors look great. Like I said, this is looking like it's gonna be pretty confetti heavy. And if you're not sure what that term means, confetti is when you have like a lot of colors within a small area. Let me show you. So like if you take a look in here, just in this section, you have a huge variety of different symbols in a very small section. You're really gonna have very little opportunity to use your multi-placer if you use a multi-placer, and you're gonna be switching between colors in your trays a lot. So that's what confetti means. Color blocking is when you have a section like you do over here where it's a lot of the same symbol together. You'll be able to use a multi-placer and it's just kind of a more uniform color look. So it looks like there will be some good variety in this piece, but look how cute this is. And look at the colors. I love it. I feel like this is a piece that I could, once again, like I'm always trying to try new things and stretch myself outside of my usual norms and routines. Since this came pre-bagged and it's so small and so confetti heavy, it's really tempting to just work out of the bags, which I never do. <laughs> but I feel, I feel like a kit like this completely lends itself to something like that. So the very last, excuse me, the very last thing that I wanted to check is just the stickiness of the canvas itself, the glue itself. And it is very sticky. It's definitely reminding me of um, Distracted by Diamonds. <laughs> Has the same kind of feel and same kind of layout and everything. So um, yes, this, this kit and my experience with everything from the packaging to the quality that I'm seeing on the canvas and the drills and the toolkit and all the extras and whatnot. All of this is very consistent with the first kit that I purchased from them a month or two ago. Um, so I am really, really happy with this company so far. I love that we have another company in the community that is bringing licensed artwork to the community and that values um, diversity and, you know, uh, taking care of artists. <laughs> so this is definitely a company that you should be keeping an eye on. Um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I, you know, purchase these kits myself, but, um, 
it's yeah definitely a company you want to go check out i'm gonna link their etsy shop down in the description uh definitely go and take a look and like i said if nothing that they have in stock at the moment is really speaking to you keep an eye out because it sounds like they have a lot coming and very soon and even this kit i feel like it sold out within just hours and she had stocked several so from the time that she like stocked this kit and a few others it sold quickly so people are catching on to how this could be a really fantastic company to try out so anyway i really hope this was helpful for you like i said i want to get to this really soon um and actually put drills on a canvas and see if i'm happy with the overall rendering effect and whatnot i'd love to see how this confetti comes together and i mean it's an adorable fox <laughs> who wouldn't want to work on this right away so um please let me know if you have any questions comments concerns um in the comments below of course i will respond to them as quickly as i can and uh if you enjoy this video please consider giving a thumbs up before you click away and if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a really good week. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.